This is one of several short videos showing how to do calculations with quantities that you've measured with uncertainties. And one type of question we might want to ask if, if we have M1, mass 1, 800 grams, plus or minus 10 grams, uh, we might want to ask what is that quantity in kilograms, for example. And to do that, just to show you how that would look, if we didn't worry about the uncertainty, what we would do, we would say that M1 is equal to 800 grams times, when we convert units, you multiply by a ratio, times one kilogram divided by 1,000 grams. We know those are equal. One kilogram is the same thing as 1,000 grams. So this is the same as multiplying by one in a complicated way. And you can see then that the units cancel. Grams cancel with grams. And we are left with uh, 0 0.8 kilograms. That's what we're doing. And when we're working with uncertainties, this is an example of a calculation where we're multiplying our measured quantity by an exact number. That one kilogram equals 1,000 grams is not approximate. That's an exact number. There's no uncertainty in that. It might, it's not like it might be 1,000.237 grams per kilogram. This is a definition. So if that's an exact number, uh, the uncertainty is actually really simple. The, the rule is, in this case, that the relative uncertainty is the same. So relative uncertainties are these percentages here. Uh, and so that means this is still plus or minus 1.3%. Uh, when you multiply by an exact number, the percent uncertainty, the relative uncertainty is the same, and the absolute uncertainty is multiplied by the same quantity. Uncertain, uncertainty, uncertainty is multiplied by the same number. And so, in particular, when we do this calculation, my uncertainty in M1, my, my absolute uncertainty in M1, was 10 grams, and we multiply by that exact same one kilogram over, that's grams really, over 1,000 grams, and we get 0 0.010 kilograms. That's the uncertainty in M that I come up with, just multiplying by the same number, and you can see that taking the ratio of this over this is the same as the ratio of this over this, so it's the same percent uncertainty either way. So multiplying by exact number, you just do that. And so, of course, then we would say that our answer is, we would report this as M1 equals 0 0.8. And I keep as many decimal places, I round to as many decimal places, I have decimal places here, 800 0, 0 kilograms plus or minus 0 0.010 0 kilograms. As usual, I kept uh, two sig figs in the uncertainty if the first sig fig is a one or a two. That's my story. Uh, that's how you multiply by an exact number with uncertainties. Relative error is the same. Absolute uncertainty is just multiplied by the same number. And again, that's important because the units work out. Grams cancels with grams. <laughs> that keeps our units working so they match. That's the story, and I hope it's useful.